Right, I'm only getting a maximum spindle speed of about 376 I think it is, or 372, something like that. Um, since I put the new controller on and changed the motor, now I did um, put a motor in there which is off of a treadmill but um, I didn't really know what I was doing at the time and it's only a 200 watt motor. Um, I've now got a 550 watt motor which I, I think is going to be um, a lot better. It should fit straight on, the holes line up, it all looks as though it should go okay so I'm just going to take everything off whip the old motor off but the only thing I have got to do <coughs> I've got to make a, a drill out a new gear because um, the, the, get the shaft on the other motor is bigger than the shaft on the new motor so I've, I've ordered a new gear and uh, I'll just drill this out so it fits the new motor Right, you can see that clearly see the difference between the old and the new. Well, it's, a, it's the new old. It's the one I put on as a replacement for. Hang on, let me just get that. Right, this was the that's the, that's the motor that it came with that was burnt out, um, which I believe is a, a 400 watt motor. And of course, the one I've put on is only 200 watts. Um, I'll stand them up, you might get a better idea of just physical size. Right, as you can see that's that's nowhere near going to be good enough, so I'm going to, I'm putting this one on now, but the the shaft on this one is smaller than the shaft on that one, so this um cog is not going to be any good, so that, that gear is going to have to go. Um I've got a new gear, which is this one. So I'm going to just get a hole in that to suit this spindle and then I can put that on there and fit this new motor. This is the new motor that I bought to put on, um, which is a, a 550 watt I think. It, it's, it's, it was too long, it wouldn't fit in, so I bought this 450 watt, which is about half an inch shorter, because it won't, a big one won't fit in. Let me just see if I can show you. What happens is, it, it's got to go in there, and it needs about another five millimeters further back that way but I can't cut anything out of the back because that's part of the casting um, so I bought this uh, slightly smaller one and uh, hopefully fingers crossed I'm gonna be able to get that one in so that's what I'm gonna do now anyway let's try and get that in see if we can get that positioned in a way that um, we can get it functional Right, that's the uh, that's the pulley. Well, I have had a problem before with the pulley catching on here, so I might have to turn a little bit off that pulley. But we'll see see how it works out. Um, get the belt for it. Um, that one, I think. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one.
so that's roughly where it needs to go. Um, just get these uh, nuts on here. And then I can start getting the motor lined up. I need to just get this wire through there. Right, that's that tightened off. I need to adjust it at the back because it, it's tipping at a, quite an angle actually. Right, there are some little adjustment screws just in here which clamp onto the motor. I'm just going to see if I can adjust them to get this nice and parallel. That's a bit slack that is. So, see if I can adjust that down. If I tighten that one up, I think. And adjusting that one down. Right, that seems to be running pretty okay there. Right, I need to spin the motor up, see if we can uh, have a little look at that. Alright, let's spin the motor up, see how that looks for alignment. Right, that looks to be pretty good. I'm happy with that. Right, I can now get this um, assembly back together. So, that needs to come off there. Right, that's all that set back up now. So now I can get the uh, control box back on in position. Right, that tucks, then tucks around there. Let's get that bottom screws done up. Everything uh, seems to be working okay now.
Alright, that ends all back together now. Let's just spin it round and give it a test run. Alright, let's have a little look, see how it cuts. Seven hundred maximum, which is more than enough for this little lathe. I'm really pleased with how that motor conversion and everything has all turned out now. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.